Slide 1. Welcome to Health Management Information Systems Electronic Health Records. This is Lecture B. The component, Health Management Information Systems, is a theory component that provides an introduction to healthcare applications and the systems that use them, health information technology standards, health-related data structures, and enterprise architecture in healthcare organizations. Lecture B will link EHRs to the Health Information Exchange, HIE, and the Nationwide Health Information Network, NHIN, initiatives. Discuss how HIE and NHIN impact healthcare delivery and the practice of healthcare providers. Summarize the governmental efforts related to EHR systems, including meaningful use of interoperable health information technology and a qualified EHR. Describe the Institute of Medicine's vision of a healthcare system and its possible impact on health management information systems, and list examples of the effects of developments in bioinformatics on health information systems. Slide 2. The objectives for this unit, Electronic Health Records, are to state the similarities and differences between an electronic medical record, EMR, and electronic health record, EHR. Identify attributes and functions of an EHR. Describe the perspectives of healthcare providers and the public regarding acceptance of or issues with an EHR, which can serve as facilitators of or major barriers to its adoption. Explain how the use of an EHR can affect patient care safety, efficiency of care practices, and patient outcomes. Slide 3. Additional objectives for this unit, Electronic Health Records, are to discuss how Health Information Exchange, HIE, and Nationwide Health Information Network, NHIN, impact healthcare delivery and the practice of healthcare providers. Outline issues regarding governmental regulation of EHR systems, such as meaningful use of interoperable health information technology and a qualified EHR. Summarize how the Institute of Medicine's vision for 21st century healthcare and wellness may impact health management information systems. And identify how ongoing developments in biomedical informatics can affect future uses and challenges related to health information systems. Slide 4. A definition of health information exchange begins our discussion. The report, Defining Key Health Information Technology Terms, defines health information exchange as the electronic movement of health-related information among organizations according to nationally recognized standards, NAHIT 2008, page 6. According to the report, the process of health information exchange enables the sharing of health-related information among healthcare organizations and with individuals on a local, regional, and national basis. NAHIT 2008, page 23. The EHR is a central component of HIE. Slide 5. The report, Defining Key Health Information Technology Terms, goes on to state, HIE supports the sharing of health-related information to facilitate coordinated care through the utilization of EHRs. This interplay of electronic records and health information exchange is an important component in establishing the basics of an infrastructure that will become the Nationwide Health Information Network, NHIN, NAHIT 2008, page 23. The paper, Health Information Exchanges, Similarities and Differences identifies three models of HIE. A federated model allows the data source organization to maintain custodianship and control over the patient's medical records and indices. When requested, data is queried from the data source organization. A centralized model has organizations sending patient demographic and clinical information to a shared repository. This centralized repository is queried to obtain a patient's clinical results and other information. A hybrid model is a mixture of the federated and centralized models. 
Hymns, 2009, page 15. Some HIE requirements include policies and procedures for exchanging health information, security utilities, matching algorithm, and their record locator service. Slide 6. Given what is known about HIEs, what potential impact does health information exchange have on healthcare delivery and the practice of the healthcare provider? From a healthcare delivery viewpoint, HIEs may have both a clinical and financial impact. Healthcare quality is affected by the ability to exchange electronic health records across multiple payers and providers. HIEs, enabled by technology, are expected to improve the quality of care and patient safety and reduce healthcare costs of healthcare delivery. The practice of healthcare providers may also be impacted by having real time patient care data at the point of care and access to patients' longitudinal test results may facilitate coordination of care and improve clinical decision making, such as the prevention of errors of omission by enabling automated reminders when follow up studies are indicated. Streamlined information flows may allow for productivity gains by providers who have access to the electronic HIE network. Slide 7. External influences, specifically the federal government, are having a major influence on the adoption and implementation of electronic health records and health information exchange. The national agenda for HIT is twofold increase adoption of electronic health records, EHRs, and build a framework that enables these EHRs to be shareable and interoperable. The Nationwide Health Information Network, or NHIN, is part of this national agenda. According to the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, the Nationwide Health Information Network is the set of standards, services, and policies that enable the secure exchange of health information over the Internet. ONC 2011, Paragraph 1. Think of the Nationwide Health Information Network as a collection of standards, protocols, legal agreements, specifications, and services overseen by the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology to support the secure exchange of health information over the Internet. The NHIN has been referred to as a health Internet, which is intended to involve consumers, providers, government organizations, and others in its fabric. Slide 8. The image is entitled Nationwide Health Information Network, NHIN, and consists of a map of the United States with two rings, the red outer ring is labeled the Internet. The blue dotted inner ring is labeled Standards, Specifications, and Agreements for Secure Connections. Outside the rings starting in the upper left corner and going counterclockwise are the labels Community Number 1, Integrated Delivery System, Community Number 2, Various Federal Agencies, Community Health Centers, and Health Bank or Personal Health Record or PHR Support Organization. What is the reason behind the development of the Nationwide Health Information Network? It is to provide a secure nationwide interoperable health information infrastructure that will connect providers, consumers, and others involved in supporting health and health care. This critical part of the National Health IT Agenda will enable health information to follow the consumer, be available for clinical decision making, and support appropriate use of healthcare information beyond direct patient care so as to improve health. DHHS 2008, Paragraph 1. Slide 9. The NHIN is a key component of the nationwide health IT strategy and is expected to provide a common platform for health information exchange across diverse entities, within communities, and across the country, helping to achieve the goals of the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health, High Tech Act. The High Tech Act 
Section 3001B calls for the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, ONC, to develop a nationwide health information technology infrastructure that allows for the electronic use and exchange of information and that ensures that each patient's health information is secure and protected in accordance with applicable improvements in health care quality, reduces medical errors, reduces health disparities, and advances the delivery of patient-centered medical care, among other goals. NHIN is a critical part of the national health IT agenda. The goal is to enable health information to follow the consumer, be available for clinical decision making, and support appropriate use of healthcare information beyond direct patient care and as a result improve population health. The role of the NHIN is to provide means by which health and healthcare entities are able to securely exchange interoperable health information. Slide 10. The Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT, ONC, believes that with broad implementation, the secure exchange of health information using NHIN standards, services, and policies will help improve the quality and efficiency of healthcare for all Americans. Driven by emerging technology, users, uses, and policies, the NHIN is evolving to meet emerging needs for exchanging electronic health information securely over the Internet. One example is the initiative, the NHIN Direct Project. The NHIN Direct Project is being launched to explore the NHIN standards and services required to enable secure health information exchange at a more local and less complex level such as a primary care provider sending a referral or care summary to a local specialist electronically. The report, the Direct Project Overview, states, The Direct Project specifies a simple, secure, scalable, standards-based way for participants to send authenticated, encrypted health information directly to known, trusted recipients over the Internet. The Direct Project focuses on the technical standards and services necessary to securely push content from a sender to a receiver and not the actual content exchanged. However, when these services are used by providers and organizations to transport and share qualifying clinical content, the combination of content and direct project specified transport standards may satisfy some stage one meaningful use requirements. The Direct Project, 2010, page 4. This may include, for example, communication of summary care records in support of continuity of care. NHIN Direct will also provide an easy on-ramp for a wide set of providers and organizations. Slide 11. At its most fundamental level, the NHIN is a network. Networks for exchanging health-related information are essential to aggregating patient-focused information into EHRs. Healthcare delivery may be impacted by the NHIN by establishing a standards-based infrastructure which will increase the ability to collect and store aggregated data. The practice of healthcare providers may be impacted by the NHIN by providing a care coordination platform. Other NHIN architecture requirements may impact healthcare delivery and the practice of healthcare providers, including the ability to discover and exchange healthcare information among participant entities, match patients to their data without a universal or national patient identifier, support patient preferences regarding their data exchange, support secure data exchange, support harmonized standards, support diverse sets of organizations, technologies, and approaches, and support a common trust agreement. Slide 12. In addition to the nationwide health information network, there are state-level health initiatives. These are initiatives designed to ensure that states and regional efforts to achieve health information exchange, HIE, 
are aligned with the national agenda. The Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, ONC 2010 initiatives, describes these initiatives in the following manner. State Health Policy Consortium. The SHPC is responsible for working with groups of states to address policy issues to enable the electronic exchange of health information across state lines. State-level health information exchange consensus project. The purpose of this initiative is to provide a forum for ONC to work with and disseminate information to states and for the states based efforts to inform the federal government to ensure all health information exchange activities throughout the United States align. State Alliance for eHealth is also a forum consisting of an executive level body of state elected and appointed officials with the responsibility of working together to facilitate the adoption of interoperable electronic HIE to identify new inter- and intrastate-based policies and best practices and explore solutions to programmatic and legal issues related to the exchange of health information. Health Information Security and Privacy Collaboration HISPC are multi-state collaboratives that are addressing privacy and security challenges related to the electronic exchange of health information with the intended outcome to develop common, replicable, multi-state solutions that have the potential to reduce variation in and harmonize privacy and security practices, policies, and laws. Slide 13. Additional key federal initiatives related to the adoption and implementation of electronic health records tied to high-tech programs include the meaningful use of interoperable health information technology and qualified EHRs and the HIT advisory committees. The Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act, or the High Tech Act, established programs under Medicare and Medicaid to provide incentive payments for the meaningful use of certified EHR technology. According to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, the Medicare and Medicaid EHR incentive programs will provide incentive payments to eligible professionals, eligible hospitals, and critical access hospitals, CAHs, as they adopt, implement, upgrade, or demonstrate meaningful use of certified EHR technology. CMS 2011, Paragraph 1. On July 13, 2010, the Secretary of HHS published in the Federal Register a final rule that adopted standards, implementation specifications, and certification criteria for HIT. The final rule was released in conjunction with the Medicare and Medicaid EHR Incentive Program's final rule. The CMS regulations specify the objectives that providers must achieve in payment years 2011 and 2012 to qualify for incentive payments. The ONC regulations specify the technical capabilities that EHR technology must have to be certified and to support providers in achieving the meaningful use objectives. Slide 14. The Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, issued a final rule on June 18, 2010, establishing a temporary certification program for EHR technology and included information on how organizations can become ONC Authorized Testing and Certification Bodies, ONC ATCBs. According to the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, ONC, ATCBs test and certify that certain types of EHR technology, complete EHRs and EHR modules, are compliant with the standards, implementation specifications, and certification criteria adopted by the HHS Secretary and meet the definition of certified EHR technology, ONC 2010. The Temporary Certification Program Final Rule specifically establishes a temporary certification program to assure the availability of certified EHR technology prior to the date on which healthcare providers seeking the incentive payments would begin to report demonstrable meaningful use of certified EHR technology. 
the final rule to establish the Permanent Certification Program for Health Information Technology was issued in January 2011. The American National Standards Institute, ANSI, was approved as the ONC Approved Accreditor, AA, for the Permanent Certification Program which instills the responsibility of accrediting organizations who will certify electronic health record technology. Implementation of the Permanent Certification Program is expected to occur in mid-2012. The Certification Program provides a way for developers of EHR technology to have their EHR technology tested and certified so that it can be subsequently adopted by healthcare providers who seek to achieve meaningful use. Eligible professionals and eligible hospitals who seek to qualify for incentive payments under the Medicare and Medicaid EHR incentive programs are required by statute to use certified EHR technology. Slide 15. The Health Information Technology Initial Set of Standards, Implementation Specifications, and Certification Criteria for Electronic Health Record Technology Final Rule, 2010, states certified EHR technology means 1. A complete EHR that meets the requirements included in the definition of a qualified EHR and has been tested and certified in accordance with the certification program established by the National Coordinator as having met all applicable certification criteria adopted by the Secretary. Or 2. A combination of EHR modules in which each constituent EHR module of the combination has been tested and certified in accordance with the certification program established by the National Coordinator as having met all applicable certification criteria adopted by the Secretary, and the resultant combination also meets the requirements included in the definition of a qualified EHR. Complete EHR means EHR technology that has been developed to meet, at a minimum, all applicable certification criteria adopted by the Secretary. Page 44,649. Slide 16. The High Tech Act, Section 3001-13, defines a qualified EHR as an electronic record of health-related information on an individual that A. includes patient demographic and clinical health information such as medical history and problem lists, and B. has the capacity 1. to provide clinical decision support, 2. to support physician order entry, 3. to capture and query information relevant to healthcare quality, and 4 to exchange electronic health information with and integrate such information from other sources. Page 229. Slide 17. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, ARRA, also provided for the creation of two federal advisory committees under the auspices of the Federal Advisory Committee Act, FACA. These committees are the Health IT Policy Committee and the Health IT Standards Committee. Per the ONC, the Health IT Policy Committee makes recommendations to the National Coordinator for Health IT on a policy framework for the development and adoption of a nationwide health information infrastructure, including standards for the exchange of patient medical information. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, ARRA, provides that the Health IT Policy Committee shall at least make recommendations on standards, implementation specifications, and certifications criteria in eight specific areas, ONC 2011, Paragraph 1. The other Federal Advisory Committee is the Health IT Standards Committee. This group is charged with making recommendations to the National Coordinator for Health IT on standards, implementation specifications, and certification criteria for the electronic exchange and use of health information. Initially, the Health IT Standards Committee is focusing on the policies developed by the Health IT Policy Committee's initial eight areas in developing, harmonizing, or recognizing standards and implementation specifications, 
The Health IT Standards Committee also provides for the testing of the same by the National Institute for Standards and Technology, NIST, ONC 2011, Paragraph 1. Slide 18. Another external influence on the future of health management information systems, electronic health records, and the process of building a framework that enables these EHRs to be shareable and interoperable is the Vision for 21st Century Healthcare and Wellness. As cited in Chapter 2 of Computational Technology for Effective Healthcare, Immediate Steps and Strategic Directions, the IOM vision calls for a healthcare system that is systematically organized and acculturated in ways that make it easy and rewarding for providers and patients to do the right thing at the right time, in the right place, and in the right way. This vision entails many different factors, for example, systemic changes in paying for health care and emphasis on disease prevention rather than disease treatment. Stead and Lynn, 2009, page 20. The principal factor in the Institute of Medicine's vision of a health care system is the effective use of information. Slide 19. The report identified information-intensive aspects of the IOM's vision for 21st century healthcare. These important healthcare IT capabilities include comprehensive data on patients' conditions, treatments, and outcomes, cognitive support for healthcare professionals and patients to help integrate patient-specific data where possible and account for any uncertainties that remain. Cognitive support for healthcare professionals to help integrate evidence based practice guidelines and research results into daily practice. And instruments and tools that allow providers to manage a portfolio of patients and to highlight problems as they arise both within individual patients and within populations. Stead and Lynn, 2009, pages 4 and 5. As the Computational Technology for Effective Healthcare Immediate Steps and Strategic Directions report explains, cognitive support refers to IT-based tools and systems that provide users, clinicians, and patients with the information, abstractions, and models needed to achieve the IOM's vision of healthcare quality. Stead and Lynn, 2009, page 21. Slide 20. Three additional important healthcare IT capabilities identified in the IOM's vision for 21st century healthcare are rapid integration of new instrumentation, biological knowledge, treatment modalities, and so on into a learning healthcare system that encourages early adoption of promising methods but also analyzes all patient experience as experimental data. A combination of the growing heterogeneity of locales for the provision of care, including home instrumentation for monitoring and treatment, lifestyle integration, and remote assistance, and empowerment of patients and their families in effective management of healthcare decisions and execution, including personal health records, as contrasted to medical records held by care providers, education about the individual's conditions and options, and support of timely and focused communication with professional health care providers. Stead and Lynn, 2009, page 5. Slide 21. Ongoing developments in biomedical informatics can affect future uses and challenges related to health information systems and electronic health records. The report listed five principles related to evolutionary change and four principles related to radical change as guidance toward successful use of healthcare IT to support a 21st century vision of healthcare. The five principles related to evolutionary change are focus on improvements in care, technology is secondary, seek incremental gain from incremental effort, record available data so that today's biomedical knowledge can be used to interpret the data to drive care, process improvement, and research. Design for human and organizational factors so that social and institutional processes will not pose barriers to appropriately taking advantage of technology.
and support the cognitive functions of all caregivers, including health professionals, patients, and their families. Stead and Lynn, 2009, page 6. Accordingly, those in the field of biomedical informatics can affect future development related to health information systems by, for example, creating technology that addresses organizational factors, supporting the cognitive functions of caregivers, and designing software for human factors. Slide 22. The four principles related to radical change are architect information and workflow systems to accommodate disruptive change, archive data for subsequent reinterpretation, that is, in anticipation of future advances in biomedical knowledge that may change today's interpretation of data, and advances in computer science that may provide new ways of extracting meaningful and useful knowledge from existing data stores. Seek and develop technologies that identify and eliminate ineffective work processes. And seek and develop technologies that clarify the context of data. Stead and Lynn, 2009, page 6. Slide 23. This concludes electronic health records. Lecture A defined an electronic medical record, EMR, and an electronic health record, EHR, and explained their similarities and differences, identified EHR attributes and functions, discussed the issues surrounding EHR adoption and implementation, and described the impact of EHRs on patient care. Lecture B linked EHRs to the Health Information Exchange, HIE, and the Nationwide Health Information Network, NHIN, initiatives, discussed how HIE and NHIN impact healthcare delivery and the practice of healthcare providers, summarized the governmental efforts related to EHR systems, including meaningful use of interoperable health information technology and a qualified EHR, described the Institute of Medicine's vision of a healthcare system and its possible impact on health management information systems, and listed examples of the effects of developments in bioinformatics on health information systems.